Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're taking a look at your advice on your current situation. And to do this reading, we will be pulling out three cards together. There are two ways in which you can pick your piles today, either using your zodiac signs, in which you will find a timestamp to that down in the description box. You will, um, at that time, watch uh, how your zodiac signs are being shuffled and in which pile they're going to fall under. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition, then there are two ways to do it. Uh, first way is to pick the card, which one, which card you're the most drawn to or which cards you're the most drawn to or through the crystals uh, associated with the cards. All right, so let's begin. What is your advice on your current situation whoa i totally see the first card there we go one two and three all right so let's see what we have for today's reading for pile number one you have the gardener for pile number two you have the queen bee And for pile number three, you have liberty. If you prefer to pick your piles using crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the green moss agate. For pile number two, you have the carnelian. And for pile number three, you have the blue agate. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to and this or these will be the piles for you here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, trust that there is guidance there for you um, meant to reach you in regards to your current situation or what's going on in your life at the moment if you feel drawn to them. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, Please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction was created just for you. And what I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well. And once we're ready, I'll be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. Okay, I think we've shuffled them well. Let's now draw our first four signs. So for pile number one, your signs are Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Leo. For pile number two, the four signs are Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, 
and Scorpio. As for pile number three, the signs are Aries, Virgo, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, so these are the zodiac signs and their association to each of the piles in today's reading. Please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. Um, if you prefer to pick with another placement in your chart, of course, feel free to do that as well. These are all just different ways to make it easy for you to pick your pile or piles. And once you're, you're done, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful green moss agate and your card is the gardener. Today we're taking a look at advice that is meant to reach you about your current situation. All right. If you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, I feel this one too. Then in that case, the signs for this pile are Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Leo. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Always remember, it's a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you, and at other times they may not. And that's just the nature of a general reading. Okay, so let's pull out the last Oracle card for this pile. Thank you. It looks like we've got two from this one. And let's check out your Oracle cards first. Right, so in conjunction to the gardener, you have... Espon, uh, espionage. Right, so the keywords are microfilm, uh, drop spot handler, surveillance, mm, double agent, safe house. Right, let's keep that here. You've got sovereign. And you have constant rescuer. Again, you kind of feel like someone's being watched here, right? Hmm. Hands outside and someone inside a bubble, a camera lens maybe. You have gratitude. This is the third eye chakra. You have the golden barrel cactus. And it says, slow growing, likes bright sunlight, warmth, and soil with good drainage. Okay. Hmm. And you have the snake plant. It says, pretty resilient if you're a little forgetful with your house plant care. If you ask me, both of these don't require a lot of like everyday care, the cactus and the snake plant. Okay, let's now take a look at your tarot cards. And as you know, we're taking a look at your guidance on your current situation. So what is your guidance on your current situation. There we go. So you have the judgment card with beyond illusion. The four of wands with participation. The hands again. Where did we see hands? Yeah, right there. And let me show it to you up close. You've got the hands here. Okay. 
you have the six of cups with the dream again that looking into something that's not with us in the room like this person is looking at their dream looking into something keeps popping up specifically in your pile i'm not sure why it to be honest but we'll see you have the rebel with the emperor you have the seven of swords with politics the page of swords with mind The Seven of Cups with Projections. The World card with Completion. The Page, this is the Knight of Wands, sorry. This is the Page of Cups with Trust. All right. Mm -hmm. Another knight, the knight of swords. Oh, 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 okay. Let me check which one is the page and which one is the knight. For some reason, I got confused there. Perhaps this is the page and this is the knight. Yes, yes, this direction. So, knight of cups and knight of swords, obviously. And this is, this direction is the page of swords. Page of swords, knight of cups, knight of swords, two knights. And we have space for more cards. Let's check them out. You have the Six of Wands with success. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles with We Are the World. Such lovely cards to have together here. You have the Queen of Cups with receptivity. You've got the Devil card with conditioning. And finally, you have the Eight of Cups with Letting Go. Finally, with this spread, where we have one more card, which is the Page. So we were right. This is the Page of Pentacles with Adventure. Let's keep it right there. So. What is your current situation and what is your guidance? Isn't it interesting? I know these are like plant um, cards, but the gardener, you've got, it makes me think there is a strong element in the energy of your reading of planting something. Or maybe it's talking about you growing personally, not sure. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you are confused about something. And it's really the way you look at things that will make all the sense in the world, especially that this is the third eye chakra card. Things will come together. You'll be able to understand a situation that is really confusing you. If you think about it, if you look at it from a different perspective. So a situation may not be going well in your life and it's really all about it looking at the situation from outside in looking at your situation from outside in like replaying how you did this not from how you feel because that's dealing with it in from an internal perspective but taking out your emotions pausing your emotions for a while and looking looking at it critically from an outside perspective will really make everything make sense for you so yeah your reading right off the bat is talking about a situation that's really confusing you you you're boggled you don't know what to do about it it's not making sense anymore and i see your guide saying it's not making sense because you need to see it from a different perspective uh, and yeah different perspective than the one you are currently looking at and right off the bat as i noticed it's about taking yourself 
and how you feel about it out and looking at it from the outside as if you're someone else altogether looking at it also taking the mask you know like looking take, taking it out of you like not taking it personally removing the mask removing yourself from it and just looking at it critically you're being depicted here as a strong person with the emperor who's currently stuck with something. Could it be stuck with an idea or maybe specifically stuck with two opposing things, something that you want to do, you believe in, but perhaps with politics, you have to be careful when dealing with people or something. Very specific, not sure, but what I can tell you about the situation is that there is a difficult way to deal with it and there is a much easier way to deal with it. Given that this child reminds me of the pregnancy here, I'll tell you what I'm seeing in a moment. I'm seeing the hard way is to want to fight it and end it quickly, struggle through, through it because you want to end it quickly with the Knight of Swords. We get the energy of something being finished quickly, but um, it, which is natural. We all want to end our difficulties quickly. So that's a natural feeling. But I believe your guides here are saying this is something that requires time. Why am I saying that? Because with the pregnancy, you know, it's going to take nine months. It doesn't mean that your situation is going to take that long. But it, there's an element of time for things to form properly or to be done properly. So with gratitude, accept that it's gonna take time and enjoy each phase as it is because it's something that you're meant to venture into, explore and understand and take your time to grow into because there's definitely growth here in understanding and grow it's helping you grow who you are, definitely growth here. And it's about embracing that growth and that time and not wanting it to end right away. So, that is an element because if you take your time to get through it and and to accept that it takes time and to and to celebrate each moment you will gain understanding of the situation and you will no longer be confused by it and in fact with the seven of swords be entrapped into the usual tricks that people fall into had they not had the patience to take it day by day just like a cactus it takes time to grow but um, it does eventually grow into something thick and strong. Mm. So yeah, you can see here with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to win this over the situation. Uh, and you, you'll really be happy with what it's going to give you with the Ten of Pentacles. Allow with the Queen of Cups to receive information and guidance through slow movement. And trust with the Page of Cups that you are being carried, that you are going to go to the other side um, safely. You, with trust here, you could be afraid that it's going to go down uh, the wrong way. And uh, if you take it slow, you will get to the other side and free yourself uh, very easily. And... The first guidance, as I said, like several times that I want to tap into it really quickly, it's really about observing yourself, not just uh, the people involved, not how just how the situation is complicated. You're, you will find your strength by not taking it personal, taking yourself outside, looking outside in. Um, how can you deal with the situation in a better way? And how do you interact with it? And is it the right way? What's right about it and what's not uh, right about it? And gaining clarity. We did notice from the very beginning that this situation may need much less effort than what you're putting. Should you see it in the right way? Doesn't require all that um, type of care. Yes, is there care? Yes but not that much. It's like a mother. She doesn't have to put her hands inside her stomach and make the baby grow. She basically has to take care of herself, watch, watch how she eats and go about her day, just being careful. And it's the same energy that I'm seeing here. The situation you're in perhaps doesn't need as much um, effort 
as you may be putting in. It me needs patience and needs you to focus on one stage fully and, and then the next. Maybe you're trying to uh, work everything out at the same time. So letting go and trust um, our clear guidance that so long as you're so attached to it and scared of it, you might be in the same situation. I think your guides are just saying, let it go. It's going to work. And if it doesn't work straight away, um, have acceptance and know it's just going to work out and take it step by step. Like, don't judge yourself for it not being at its optimum stage now. You're getting there. And from that place, accept that it's not perfect yet or it's not working exactly as you want. There's definitely a change of mind involved in your situation. And your guides are saying with the Six of Cups, keep your goal always in front of your eyes. It is your guiding light. But at the same time, as you're looking at this goal, don't be attached to it. Know you're getting there and celebrate every moment. Know that baby is going to eventually come out. Um, yeah, take it day by day. I also feel that so long as you're looking at the situation from the same eyes, you're going to see it complicated and tricky a and perhaps full of politics, full of difficulties that you have to deal with. But a change of perspective is needed. Perhaps an extra detail here. A person you're dealing with is projecting onto you and you are projecting onto them. Each one projecting their feel, uh, fears. D specific detail, but it could resonate with someone watching this here. So it's all about not looking from within. It's really looking from the outside to see the situation clearer. Going slow will allow you to watch and assess the little things that you could have originally bypassed wanting to move quickly. Do you see how there is a building here in her dress? And it's like leveling up, right? You will level up and be able to hold even bigger situations because she's holding two little houses here. You'll be able to uh, be responsible for or hold or... Um, not carry, yeah, carry out more difficult situations or uh, handle, handle much more difficult situations uh, as you level up. And that leveling up is definitely about looking outside at the minute details because this is an espionage. This is like spy work, taking a look at the small things that usually people don't notice. It's like if they're holding this ticket, it means they came from that road and not this one, which means they live there. And all of the things that we notice, uh, we, we are really, we really admire when we look at spies at work, right? At the little small things they notice, which makes us go, ah, yeah, that's smart. So I feel the same way. And um, moving slow will allow you to look at the minute things that will give you key clues to bigger things that were otherwise too tricky to notice. And this is how you're gonna level up in this situation. Uh, so it's not about working hard. It's about doing little things, just uh, at um, one step at a time. Little things, doing it well, one step at a time. This way it'll all come together and you will be able to handle the situation like no other. Because you're being depicted to begin with as a, as a very strong person. Your energy is very strong with the emperor and the sovereign. It just needs slow movement because it's, it's really not about your strength. And I hope you're not labeling yourself uh, as not being able to be strong enough to handle it. Because look at you, <laughs> lion fighting the sovereign, the rebel, your energy is very strong. And I think you're, the illusion here is that you are acting um, as wearing sheep's clothing. You could be weakening yourself in this situation and because you're simply not looking at it in the correct way and conditioning yourself as such 
but if you trust the process and move slower, you'll go, oh, so that's the little thing that was standing in my way, making it uh, tricky, making it hard. Uh, and I couldn't say it enough, but the winning here is all about how you see things and put it together uh, and not about the fighting itself per se. You're going to, and once you see things in the correct way, you'll handle the situation and many others like no other. And I really feel with the small hands, how you handle the little things, also the hands here, how you handle the little things will determine your growth with the four of wands, the step up um, more than anything else. It's about handling the little things to be able to take control and handle the bigger things. And that's the seeing, that's the seeing things in the right way. And so here with the letting go, it's letting, let go of the limiting belief that you can't, which is perhaps the fear that is fueling this fighting. Trust that you're going to get there and decide to take it slow, little by little. You may not win straight away, but you will definitely be winning once you put the picture together. Yeah, the hands, how you handle the small things as you look outside of yourself and not taking things personally and noticing the minute details that help you uh, deal with the minute things that overall strengthen you to be able to handle the bigger things. And while you're at it, don't hate it. Don't feel frustrated. Don't be afraid of it. Celebrate the little wins. And my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see in your reading as to how to deal with the current situation that you're in. This was your reading and if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pal number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi pile number two, welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful carnelian and your card is the queen bee. If you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, and Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your signs, as a quick reminder, please don't worry about it. Remember that this is a general reading. There are some specific details that may resonate with you right away. And then there are other details that may not resonate with you. And that's, it may be for someone else. And that is the nature of a general reading. Okay, so let me pull out your last Oracle card and see what is your current advice? What is your advice on your current situation? Okay, so you have the card aggressor. And you have the sacral chakra with guilt. Hmm. You have lost, the card lost. So it says homeless, lonely, ghost town, jobless, divorce, crossroads, drunk, bureaucracy, uh, isolation, Alzheimer's, earthquake, guide, ship, shipwrecked, map, compass, woods, left or right, uh, accident. So these are all just keywords. And finally, you have the peace lily. It says, spassy film. Right. So it says, as well as being easy to care for, the peace lily, uh, this elegant beauty is a hardworking air purifier. Lovely. Okay, let's take a look at your tarot cards. This way we'll get a full understanding of what the situation is and what your exact guidance is. Right, so... Let's go again. What is your advice on your current situation? What is your advice on your current situation? So, 
you have the strength card. Hmm. The king of pentacles. Aye. The ace of swords. Hmm. I right off the bat, I'm getting the impression. I like to wait, but these three cards give me a, an idea that you have the power to do something in this situation. Is it about perhaps you forgetting that you have power or that you have power that you don't know you have? I don't know. I think we should wait. But that's the first impression that I'm getting with these three cards. You have the Eight of Cups, perhaps the power to leave. And sometimes the power to leave is something that we do forget, right? Even like in, in uh, sales, you know, when people bargain, when people bargain, one of the powers that, uh, that a customer has towards a seller that is overpricing something and they're like, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, if you want to take it, take it. If you don't want to take it, don't take it. And you go, okay, I don't want to take it, actually. I'm, I know I'm going to find um, another local one that will give it to me at a fair price. And they're like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, tell me, how much do you want to take it for? You know, in places where they bargain prices. So sometimes walking out of something that you don't like gives you a power in a situation. Um, someone who's manipulative that's not expecting you to use that power. Definitely looks like that with these cards, but let's move on. It could, the cards could take us in a totally different direction and I could go, oh, <laughs> so let's wait. You have the four of pentacles. The three of swords. The full card, the five of wands, the judgment card, the hermit, the temperance card. Wow, three major arcana. All right. And you have the Queen of Wands. Look, this is a major arcana. These are three major arcanas coming right after the Five of Wands. I do see you uh, struggling with something. There's a struggle with other people or a struggle with, yeah, aggressor. You know, for some of you, it may not be other people, but there's a strong struggle. Uh, and I think someone could be like using their voice with the aggressor here or th threatening you or uh, f making you afraid of something. And with peace, Lily, I feel like you're more of a peaceful person. And it looks to me like you're doing something that you may not really like. I'll get to that in a moment because of the guilt card here. It's like maybe they're guilt tripping you into doing something. And I see you perhaps doing something that you find unfair, that you don't like, maybe feel guilty. Maybe you're just wanting peace so you're just you're like okay why don't I just do that but as major as this situation as uh, complicated or uh, the situation is and just as much as you're struggling through a three major arcana right next to it shows that you also have a major power in fact there's the queen of wands showing you that there is great power in your hands and although you want to take things peacefully, it does not take away from how strong you are as a person. And in fact, if you hold off with the Four of Pentacles, this will evoke a lot of pain and stress towards the other person. And I'm not saying we want to do that, but I'm saying that they may seem all strong, but doing something as little as pulling off what you're giving may just show you they're not uh, as strong as their loud voice or loud actions are making them to be. Thus creating a new beginning for you in this situation. Why? 
because your significator card is the queen bee here. And the lovely thing about this card, actually, speaking of uh, your situation, this is the queen bee, right? And the guidebook explains that this is mother nature. You know, the queen bee here is depicted as mother nature, where her dress is the tower, uh, a home for the bees that sustain our ecosystem. She's also the mother nature that's taking care of tulips. And um, um, all creatures on this planet, everything that grows, grows out of her beauty every day. So uh, here, this tells me that you have a power that you could be doing with love, so much so that you forgot that it's your power. I think you are a peaceful, loving person who's doing things from your heart and perhaps there is someone here overburdening you, uh, making use of your giving from the heart. Maybe they feel like they can get away with it. And the only reason they feel like they can get away with it is because you've forgotten that what you're giving is out of choice. Uh, and that pulling the plug, literally pulling the plug, will remind them of how much they will lose uh, if they don't uh, give the respect that you are giving them. Because I see that here you're, you are someone with so much uh, power, someone who's giving a lot, someone who's capable, uh, and everyone's forgetting that in this situation. So with lost, this tells me that this person, all of a sudden by pulling the plug, will really reconsider everything that they're doing. They will be reminded just how much you are giving in this situation uh, and how much they're taking and how much it's worth. Uh, judgment shows that, just look at that, the judgment and the hermit. This is enlightenment. Like pulling the plug will sudden, like for example, we take electricity for granted every day. And we keep saying how hard our lives are and this and that. And while everything is absolutely true, we forget little things such as being able to see at night, right? And if the lights were to go off, we'll be reminded of the many things that electricity gives to us to make our lives easier. And how others don't have that, you know, the ability to charge your phone and be connected, the ability to cook something when you want, to turn on the light and not live in darkness, uh, to, and, and so on and so forth. And I feel like this is the same situation here. You're giving so much of yourself to something or to someone, and they're living in the kindness of this blessing every day, so much so that they forgot how giving and how much effort and how much is toll it's taking on you and to take off that plug will make this person go oh i need that this is this is such a huge blessing i need that in my life oh no 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 i cannot imagine going without this so it's exactly like the bargaining moving out like uh, so walking out of the situation or saying, no, I'm not going to take this. That's as much as I can do and take uh, holding off will really make this aggressive or person or situation in your life totally reconsider uh, what they're doing. And might even be the most peaceful way to purify the air. Um, because it's your absolute right to go, no, that's it. I, I, I'm not going to be taking that type of aggression or that type of um, abuse or that type of treatment. And I'm not happy at this point. So since this is your guidance and since, since there's a clear beginning with so much great luck with the ladybird being a symbol in the full card, I feel like luck is on your side, not just... Uh, you being right, but luck will be absolutely on your side with the situation. I want to pull out some cards 
because you might like the idea, but maybe you don't know how to go about it, right? So let's get more details on how you can pull the plug and what pulls pulling the plug is in your situation in a peaceful way. So how are you guided to basically pull the plug? Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups definitely being done lovingly and graciously. It's not like, okay, I'm pulling the plug. I'm not taking this anymore. It's doing it, putting a boundary in a respectful way. Don't go down to their level. Queen of Cups here with grace saying, I would love to help you out. Um, I understand, of course, that you are in a difficult situation, but my situation is also equally important and I may not be really able to do this anymore. It is taking a toll on me. And for these reasons, I feel like I have to step out of it kind of uh, idea that I'm getting. So gracefully, however, this uh, gracefulness applies, of course, to your situation and you have the Ace of Pentacles. You know, although this is guidance, I'm really seeing taking yourself out gracefully will create a new beginning in this situation. You have the Eight of Wands. Look at how the Eight of Wands here is um, hindering this person, right? <laughs> I feel like there is the guidance here of doing it quickly. Like, don't take time to leave the situation, especially with the fox here giving a space for this person to figuring it out for themselves and maybe even like harm you along the way or being sly. I feel like you, yes, need to speak gracefully, but to quickly make a move here with the eight of wands. I think it will confuse this person, will not allow them to use foxy, like bad moves that are un unfair to you. Again, Six of Swords moving. So this is interesting, you know, Six of Swords is slowly moving to safer shores, but here you have the Eight of Wands, which is a factor of quickness. So what could this be saying? Let me think. This is saying don't shut the doors because although you might need to make a quick move, I feel like the Six of Swords haven't reached the other side yet. It's like move towards something else. If they're able to contact you back again before you actually make a commitment to something else, uh, changing their attitudes, that's great. Um, if not, you're already moving <clears throat> to the other side. So for example, this is like uh, leaving a manager leaving a company that's like being super unfair to you and let's say you really like the benefits or you are like financially safe in this job for example so you want to look at all the options that you have um and to make other interviews secure different jobs right and to say, right, uh, this is making uh, taking a toll on me. Uh, it's also taking a toll to my home. It, it, it's not right. And I love you guys very much, but I feel it's best for me to uh, move on to something that will be able to provide the things that I need and, and give you the space to uh, have someone to do the things that you need, right? And you have all these different interviews, so already moving to, into different things. Um, and so this is moving but allowing time for communication in case they call you back and say hey uh, we reconsidered yes you're right that you were overworked this these things were not fair we would love to have you back then you know you're you're moving quickly but at the same time with these different opportunities you're both safe and you have the time to make that transition in case they call you back kind of idea that i'm getting with the eight of wands act quick but leave the door open in case uh, this person or this situation is willing to think about it, right? So you have the King of Cups. This will give you, with the King of Cups, something that you love that is stable 
in this situation, whether it's on the other side or whether it's with this side. Hierophant, whoa. <laughs> this will really give you power in the situation that you weren't even seeing. Because with the Hierophant here and all of the keys, obviously, it will make you understand so much about the situation that you weren't seeing. It will make them understand more about your value and what they weren't seeing. And so the combo here shows a lot of power, a lot of stability, a lot of respect as well. You have the magician. The sun. Wow. Look at the sun. There's a lot of positivity with this move. And the moon. So we're still uh, into guiding you. The card is into guiding you on what to do. Let's take a look at the two suns. Let's keep that positive energy here. Sun and moon eclipsing something. Eclipsing what? How subtle you were was eclipsing the things that you were doing. And I say that because the raccoon um, usually like is shy. Not that you are shy, but perhaps you're humble. You're very humble. You, um, you're doing things from the heart. And perhaps you don't talk much about yourself, making others forget um, how much you give in this situation. So the raccoon here is in the magician, which shows me you're very skilled or you are very good at what you're providing here. And the subtleness has eclipsed all of that you were given. So this basically just means that being graceful, moving and keeping uh, the channels open will not only give you uh, respect and stability and what you love and deserve but it will show just how much you are giving and it will be recognized and it will no longer as before ever be eclipsed and so this is definitely in terms of guidance talking about not being uh, shy or too humble to your own detriment to speak out about how you are proud of the things that you do gracefully, how you've always done it from the heart and the things that you do to shine it, to bring it out, to show your skills or to show the things that you have done proudly, whether it's on to the other side or this side, because it looks like they're not seeing things. And it's not about like holding it in and continuing to do. It's speaking for yourself because you too are important. And you too need to have a root and get nurtured from that beautiful energy that you are giving to others. You too are equally important and deserve that nurture as well. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading on your advice on your current situation. Look, you're going to have a new beginning here, a big, big, beautiful, juicy new beginning where you are really loved, respected, and you now have the things that you love that you absolutely always deserved in this situation. So it's all about speaking up and making a move. This is what I see in your reading, my dear pal number two, walking away or saying no, none of that again in a time where it's not fair to you. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful blue agate. Let's go again. Ah, there we go. And your card is the liberty card. And if you picked this pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Aries, Virgo, Gemini, and Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, oh, looks like these are the two cards. Please don't worry about it. Remember, it's a general reading. 
Some specific details may resonate with you, and at other times, they may just be... Oh, for someone else. Hello from my cat. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. And let's pull out your last Oracle card. Today, we're taking a look at your guidance or your advice on your current situation. Okay, so let's pull out this card. You have the topsy-turvy succulent. And it says, fleshy leaves which curl at the tips. Mm. Not fond of too much water. So they curl at the tips. You can see that here. Really cool. Really cool. Tops, Topsy-turvy. <laughs> All right. So you also have the third eye chakra with vanity. Let me clean the table. Hold on. Okay. You have speaker. Doesn't it kind of look like Obama? If I'm not mistaken, right? The sharp, clean shirt and same features, right? Okay. You have... Sovereign, oh, that popped up in pile number two. If you were drawn to it, I recommend you check it out. And you have gathering aid. Okay. So you also have nerd. <laughs> got the solar system, you've got Star Wars, obviously, and a calculator. Hmm. So yeah, Star Trek. Uh, computer, cosplay, virgin, RPG, prom calculator, convention, science, inhaler, copied homework for eyes, for eyes, science class, genius, bad at sports, comic books. So what is it called? Uh, full of, um, is it called stigma or uh, stereotype? Uh, because now we know, you know, uh, nerds could be some of the coolest guys and girls. So, yeah, stigmatizing something or stere stereotyping something. And you have a symbol, value, leader, glyph, alphabet. So, a symbol. All right. Let's take a look at your tarot cards so that we're able to understand the situation better. So... What is this situation and what is things? What is your guidance on this situation? Please. What is pile number three's guidance on this situation? And this one, I also feel that one, so I'm gonna take it. Right. Let's check your tarot cards out. So, you have the four of, oops, the four of wands. I hope this blur wasn't happening throughout. You have the empress. The eight of wands. Hmm. The magician. interesting okay you have the emperor all right there's an emphasis here on the ace of pentacles that good luck is in your hands with the scarab it's like inviting you to take action because good luck will be in your hand you will be assisted You have the five of wands. Whoa, look at this person go. It's like, I'm not taking this anymore and everyone's being careful here. You have the 10 of wands. It's like this 10 of wands. This is the after tarot, by the way. So we're seeing scenes, depicting scenes after the regular traditional tarot. It looks like this person dealt with a situation 
nipped it in the bud and they're like, oh, taking all of this weight off of my shoulders. Same wand, same wand here. You have, it's like, I'll tell you what I see in a moment. It's, uh, you have the six of pentacles. You have the four of pentacles. Interesting perspective. Hmm. You have to consider what you're holding on to. Is it worth it? There are some things that are worth it when we say till death do us part. Holding on to the right things is wonderful. But are you holding on to the right thing? And will it be valuable in the grand scheme of things? You have the tower card. You can see the magician here. Has a magician here. It's like maybe a choice. Let's see. You have the wheel of fortune. And two more cards that are being highlighted in your reading because they're going to be on a row all on their own are the lover's card, a choice. Exactly. making There's a choice here involved. And look at Eve passing on the apple or this figure passing on the apple. Uh, and you have the justice card. You can see the king and the um, citizen. Both are at the mercy of justice. Time where power won't matter or something. In a place where power doesn't matter. Some things don't matter whether you're powerful or rich or not. Mm. Like health, information, love. So I feel you're reading with vanity and look at this four of pentacles. It's seriously talking about maybe you or your guides wanting to show you that you could be holding on to something just as mentioned in the grand scheme of things may not be important, but on the contrary, may, be, uh, may bring things down for you or make, make, take your power away from you or take something that is actually valuable from you, like your health. So this could be like, uh, like if we translate it literally, uh, for example, it's vanity. Is it holding on to material things? And neglecting your body, for example, which is more important, or neglecting what your heart is desiring, picking money over love or over health. Um, I, I really feel like you want to recalculate things in a smart way with regards to the situation at hand. Because with liberty, again, this is a choice. This is a choice. You could be entrapping yourself in something. Let me adjust that. Entrapping yourself, your soul, especially with the bird, entrapping your soul with something for materialistic reasons. And you see with the Six of Pentacles, it's almost putting yourself in a situation where you constantly beg for something just because you're so attached to something. I believe your guides are showing here. And I think your guides are talking about freeing yourself, taking this load off of you. And this will actually make you more abundant with the Empress. You can see the Empress's swan has given birth. A real representation of abundance and fertility and yeah, multiplication. So here I'm seeing the power to... Um, through one power move... The magician here has lifted all of their tools off the table. And look at the bird here, again signifying the soul, is now free and liberated and happy. So 
it's a choice. I really feel here that your guides are saying you are uh, really focused on one thing and neglecting your soul's needs. And it's making your soul beg for something, uh, taking your power away from you. That's giving you so little as opposed to the abundance that you can actually have. And you can see, whoops, that real happiness really, real happiness is bigger than these material, materialistic thing or thing that's really making your eyes sparkle. Because there are things that are more important, loving your everyday life, um, health, or maybe being with the right person, depending really on what the situation is, uh, may, doing a job that you love, whatever this freedom is for you. You can see here the universe depicted as a woman, and you can see carrying all the stars and the moon and the cage, and your soul here being free. The universe is showing you the way, like with the stars here, right? They're supposed to guide this beautiful bird, Dove. And this, the, the universe will always be there to guide you. It's like, hey, it's there. I'm not going to make you choose it. It's there. Should you choose to follow it and free yourself, it will give you the freedom your soul is looking for. And on top of that, it will give you the abundance that you are looking for. Far big, bigger than the small things you are getting now. And so I think with nerd here is uh, the idea of being smart. And being smart is the cool thing. I think you could be engaging yourself with stereotypical ideas, um, with symbol that give you symbol status. Yeah, you think it's giving you power, president, sovereign, that maybe you're looking for power or something but i think there's a blank stare of you need to recalculate everything and know that you won't be ever left on your own there's always guidance your guides have your hand but really it is about satisfying your soul that is more important and you can see with the topsy-turvy Although you have grown something a lot or you've worked so hard towards something, there's a, like um, an unexpected turn. I think it's more saying, don't be afraid to change directions, no matter how much you have grown something or worked on something. It's okay to suddenly go, you know what, this is not working for me anymore and I need to make a steep turn, a complete 180 degrees turn towards something else and uh, to move towards something with symbol that means to me so much than it would mean to others. You know, with symbol, it's what it symbolizes to you. Maybe for other people, the, the direction you're moving towards may mean nothing, but to you, it means the world. To your soul, it means the world. And when we follow our soul, we get to do amazing things that later even... Not that you're waiting for others' approval or anything, but even to the others who didn't approve will go, whoa, that was smart. And you may even have people who follow your lead. So this direction that you're on with the Ten of Wands is obviously taking a great toll on you and even more to come with the Tower card. But should you shift directions with the Wheel of Fortune because you have the new beginning, should you shift new directions towards your soul's desire, you will be... Uh, first of all, aided, you see the hands, you will greatly be aided all the way, guided, you're not going to like have to start from the beginning with no help, but you will have a lot of fortune in that. Uh, Emperor, I feel like you have built a lot of status or power position in where you are, that it may be scaring you, maybe, you're, maybe that's not money, maybe that's a position. And it's really scaring you to leave what you've built. Yeah, it does look like you've built something, something here, like a long life career um, or some position of power or something. I feel like 
you may be thinking it's not because um, the emperor is traditional so you might be thinking it's not reasonable to just let it go right with the tower card here uh, but at the mercy of what's important in life no amount of power or towers will will um, adjust itself when it comes to who you are or what you've done or any materialistic thing, vanity-like thing. At the end of the day, at the mercy of the important things, it doesn't matter what materialistic things we have. It's how we've treated this thing, like um, our health, uh, how we've built real bonds, for example, uh, being happy with the things that we do, you know, feeling fulfilled in life and so on. So, yeah, there is a great look of you need recalculation, uh, perhaps in that area. And it's okay to make a steep, steep turn in life. And it looks like with the four of wands, for you, this is not starting from the beginning. Maybe it's not going to be in the same place where you are now. But it's still not starting in the from the very beginning because once you take things off of your back you really feel relieved and also that experience that you've been, you've gone through has given you a lot of knowledge a know-how maybe financial stability it has given you so much where you don't have to start from zero with the four of wands here and also with the eight of wands this is showing that you will be moving quickly towards that abundance with one quick move or a couple of quick moves in which case you will always be guided by the universe on exactly where to go next but you can see with the magician here holding the wand of the world card again showing that the completion of the previous stage will give you the power to move things around in a much easier way so maybe you build connections that will help you um, do things in much easier. Maybe you have information. With Nerdier, you must be someone who is very knowledgeable, very smart, has gathered a lot of experience, knows their stuff. Yeah, with that huge position, I can understand in life. So you really aren't starting from zero. And things will be moving rather quickly for you and you will be guided. It's a choice at the end of the day with the lover's card, but you will be guided in every little step, including the very beginning up to the very end. And your guides are really guiding you here to realize what's important in your life, what's important to your soul. And in fact, not just realize it, I think speaking it out into existence, I think starting something out may be so hard for you that you don't even dare say it. I feel like your guides are saying, have the guts to say it because that's the beginning of your journey to say, yes, this is what my soul wants and recognizes. And perhaps this will take so much off of your back and will give you the strength to, you know, handle these struggles. You'll feel so much better and you will be supported with so much luck moving things to your favor. And the awesome thing here is that you will be able to achieve what you want rather quickly um, in your life. So you will have two benefits of moving in the direction of your soul and being absolutely guided to help you reach it quickly. So it's a matter of choice. And each choice that you make will have its consequences. No one can take anything from you that you don't, you're not ready to give up. But I feel like with symbol, follow what means more to your soul. It doesn't matter what people think or society will think. What matters is what means so much to you. And you will see that one day you're getting far more, far more greater abundance, fulfillment, uh, happiness. Yeah, hap real happiness 
than the little things that you one day thought were very big things. And my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see in your reading on what your guidance is with regards to what you're currently going through. I wish you all the best of luck with that. Uh, changing directions, remember, does not mean um, taking little. It means getting what you want, but in the direction that your soul wants. Uh, getting it later rather than now and getting it in the right way rather than in a way that's really imprisoning your soul. So before I leave, would you like guidance on how to begin this journey? Perhaps, perhaps I missed that. Maybe... Maybe if you're not seeing the first step, we should check it out for you. So what is your first step to effectively begin this journey for pile number three, please? To free their souls. So you have, wow, the world card. It's like go ahead and decide to end this first of all have the have the audacity to end this because you see the wand with the world card here because you definitely have the power and the skills to make what your soul wants happen so decide to end one journey and begin another wait you have the devil card you have the five of pentacles i'm not sure if this is okay on youtube not sure so we're just gonna be careful place that here the five of pentacles you have the chariot oh. and you have the five of swords winning I guess speaker turns out to be more significant than I thought. Let me show you what I'm seeing. The five of pentacles is associated with the planet Mercury, communication, and Taurus, again, stability, wealth, um, materialistic things. And you can see here, also, this is, the, uh, this is the throat chakra, the blue. It's actually a throat chakra card because this is from the chakra deck. So I kind of missed that communication here is so important in your reading. I'm not sure what your situation is. I'm, I don't have the, uh, that much card making me understand, cards making me understand what the situation is exactly. But there seems to be something about communication. I feel like communication will help you move forward and take you out of this lack that you're afraid of also the devil card is a card of illusion so here your guidance is how you speak to yourself how you speak to yourself your speech about what is important uh, must change. Maybe you are worried about how you're presenting yourself to some people. Maybe you're around really judgmental people who only look at the facade and you're seen as wise and you've got a lot of respect and perhaps you're really afraid that this crowd may go and that you may be left alone. But you win if you let these people go, that it's okay. Perhaps you'll be surrounded with the right community at the right time. And again, you can see the star, uh, sorry, the world card, I keep saying star, the world card wand in the chariot. Moving in the right direction. Do you see where the gesture of the hands are? In, on your, to your heart, following your heart's lead and not uh, other things or other ideas with the devil card, other societal illusions or ideas or standards that are keeping your soul left in the cold. And that it's far more important to follow your heart. 
So your guidance is just changing your mindset, changing your speech and the way you communicate and the way you say things to recalculate and rethink logically about the situation. Because if you give your time to think logically about it, you may just drop all of the things, the crutch, you know, the ideas that um, that uh, are keeping you from improving societal ideas that are keeping you in, in place. Because the Five of Pentacles is depicted in a very smart way, the traditional Five of Pentacles. It always shows people who are left out in the cold and um, feel victims when really they have a church who, that they can get in any time right behind them that maybe they haven't seen or haven't considered. Um, so I feel like there's always a solution. And sometimes we avoid doing something because we're afraid of communication, what other people are going to say. Or maybe you're afraid of, oh, maybe it's not even people, by the way. Maybe you are afraid of what your mind will say to you. So... Perhaps that's why you're getting change communication, change communication. Whatever exactly, however exactly this uh, fits your situation, your guides are just saying, end this journey, reconsider moving towards your heart. I don't know what your situation is, but it seems like it's easier, it's easy to free your soul and to know that you'll be getting guidance in every step, that you're not starting from the beginning and just follow your heart's journey this way you win by either dropping these people or dropping these ideas maybe they their voices have become your own mind there needs to be a change in speech because you keep getting throat chakra speaker mercury change in, even the eight of wands change in communication and focusing on target and not anything else and that is the right choice to make in case you should choose it and my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see in your reading, on your guidance in your current situation. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye!